Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, happy Saturday morning, happy Saturday morning to everybody. Welcome to Sandy's Backyard Kitchen, good morning, good evening, good night to all my international family. Today I'm making a couple vegan meals for some of our friends, um, Tom and Marsha. And uh, they're in their 80s and she just went through hip surgery and she love Indian food. She love Indian food but not too spicy. So, but she like a little spicy. So that's what I'm doing today. Some vegetarian or vegan meals today. How is your day guys? Let us know what you have planned for this weekend. What I might be doing, some nice Thai duck, roasted duck. And uh, for us, for later, for dinner. And um, because I still have that dog that I seasoned, but I never cooked. So I'm taking part of it and cook it like some th nice Thai taste. And then I'm thinking the rest um, to cook for something else, maybe curry or something like that. Since I got back, really, I haven't had any curry. I miss my curries. I only had um, the Katahar curry. So today I'm making some aloo and... Um, and yellow squash I've never made yellow squash before and aloo curry but I um, went to India I saw they use the yellow squash in many of their curries and it tastes so good so I'll be using that as well uh, so I'm gonna chunk it the dal now and then we'll cook some cabbage also some cabbage with tomato and onions and things like that because that's also vegan or vegetarian so this is what we're doing um, for, for the next half an hour 45 minutes thank you for tuning in thank you for leaving a comment and also thank you for shouting out where you're tuning in from please 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 for all my friends around the world and also uh, please thank you for sharing on your page uh, if these are the things you like and these things you know if you like our page and you like being part of our family and uh, for all our families too, uh, my sister Zorin, she's going today this morning. I called her this morning and she's going for dialysis today. And so thank you all for the prayers and the love you've been sending. It's been pouring, overflowing. And for all the fun GoFundMe page that my sister Monica and the family put together, it's almost reaching its goal. So thank you so much. I know many people on this page uh, helped in this way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all for the prayers. Just everything is working wonderfully, wonderfully. Okay, let's go cooking. So these are some of the things we are using. Here. Uh, I have some oil in here. I'm going to chunk it, the dal, guys. Check out the dal. Check out the dal. I'm cooking it very light, not as much curry and all that stuff that I normally put, nor pepper. I actually put one, one re, 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 re pepper in there, and that's because it's a flavor and plus a little spiciness. And what I have here is some oil, and um, this is some jeera. I have here is some raw jeera or cumin. I'll toast up some of that first for my chunky, for chunking the dal. And I also have some curry leaves from the garden. I'll put some curry leaves in there. And this is uh, what I'm, I'm toasting these stuff first for the dal or the split pea soup. And uh, you see the garlic? I just chopped up some extra garlic in there. I uh, see check out this is the yellow squash check the squash out this is the yellow squash like I said I've never made it like this okay. and uh, oh I think it's burning oh and uh, I don't have a cloth to move it Tommy went inside to grab me an oven mitt or a, a sappy oh quick quick Tommy I'll turn it off. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yes. So it's frying up there. I turn off the heat on it. 
Hey everybody. So what I have here, this is some baji or the spinach or baji or the malabar leaves that I pick right up here on the vine. I'm gonna put some of these in the dal. And I like to put it in big, you know. This family, they like to see the vegetable, you know, they're vegetarian and they're vegan. So I like to put it in big in here because it will steam and still have all the goodness in, in the dal. See, look like that. See how already it breaks down to nothing. And this is baji from right, right over here. My garden right in here. So this is my potato to cook potato or the aloo, to cook aloo curry in a little bit. So guys, check this out. Look. Look. And um, okay, guys, look at this. And you see how this is frying up nice, not with very much oil or anything. Now I'm gonna, oh my gosh, it smells so nice. I know I'm driving the neighbors crazy around here. So I'm gonna just put this in here. You don't want it to burn, you want it to fry nice. So the flavor of the, of everything, cook very nicely all right so we mix this in and then I'll close it up and let that all, all that aroma of the garlic and the cumin and the curry leaves get into the get into the dal or get into this soup so the cover it I'm gonna turn this off. I, everything is done and fi is finished in there. So I'm gonna just turn this off and turn this back on. Okay. Uh, cook my curry guys how is everybody shout out shout out where are you tuning in from where are you watching from I said not beautiful day here look the yard's looking so much better now I have to cut it and the other side <laughs> pick up the rest of the zippery yeah yeah so much is going on. Oh, this dal smells fantastic. And you know how we made, how we met Marsha? And uh, we haven't met Marsha as yet. We just met Tom. He was at the park where we go exercise and he is 80 years old. And he was there doing pull-ups. I swear he was doing like 25 to 30 pull-ups. And I said, oh my gosh, I can't even do one of those pull-ups. And, um, and then we get talking and he, He's so educated and it turns out we want to adopt two more cats. It turns out his wife, Marsha, she actually run the clinic where you go and adopt um, animals and adopt cats and so on. So John will be volunteering, especially John will be volunteering to go t to the, to the um, center. Animal shelter, yeah. The animal center, yeah. So this is some curry leaves here. Some curry leaves I'm putting in there. It said Aruna from Mumbai, she says Namaste and she says next time she's going to meet you. Yay, Namaste, Namaste she's to Mumbai. I love it there. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. What's her name? Aruna. Aruna. Aruna Joshi. I had so much, so much great experience there in Mumbai. Uh, we went we went to the, see the stars homes, you know, just to see the pictures. We went to the museum of Mahatma Gandhi. We went to the gateway of India. And we also, uh, this is some tomatoes that I'm cutting up, but I'm squeezing the excess juice and extra water out. So I put it here so all those seeds can go in the ground to plant. In my pots. <laughs> yeah, so I... 
and we also saw the Taj Hotel and the Taj Hotel had such a great time there. Uh, Usha says hi from South Africa. He hi. says the bags you put in your pot, they call spinach, but they don't get them that big. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put it in for it in a little bit. Still too much water. Jonathan, you get secret to tell us. Jonathan, you get me some napkin. Wait, that's too much. It should be in this. I put some onions in there. And this is some roasted onions. And also uh, some regular onions. I'm putting extra onions in this. I love the flavor of onions. And this here is some garlic, some roasted garlic and regular garlic. Why I did this, the other night when I had the grill on, I uh, put, I had extra heat. So I put uh, onions and tomatoes and garlic and all that good stuff, all that good stuff to roast. And in that way, when I'm not cooking on the fire side, my food will still taste like I'm cooking on the fire side, okay? And it's so yummy when you do it that way. I'm so happy to cook different meals and uh, things like that and learn different ways of cooking the same kind of meal, stuff like curry and using different vegetables and things like that and especially when I'm cooking for different people as well um, I, like, I like to learn their tastes and things like that and adjust my spices and adjust my, my things just to please them it's like the, the most great feeling I feel that put me on a high every time <laughs> Alright, check out the doll. I open it now. Jessica was saying hello from Canada. Hi Jessica. Big love going out to Canada. How is the temperature? Tell me, tell me. Look, you see how nice the baji leaves are? I like it. So when you're eating it, you can eat it as a soup. You can put it on some rice. You can eat roti with it. And it makes you feel like you're eating, especially for vegans, especially for vegans and vegetarians. It makes you feel like you're eating the meat and you're not missing it, you know? That's why I like to put vegetables bigger and wholer in certain dishes. And I cook that up very well. And check this out. This is my curry, my masala, my um, turmeric, and also salt. And I also have some green cardamom there. And some jeera. I'm trying to make it more like an India taste because of my friends they went to India before and they love Indian food as in West India or oh, yeah India so I'm gonna put these in here We have South Africa in the house. We have a lot of people from the Bronx in the house. Hi. Young lady from New York says it's freezing. Oh, it's freezing in New York already? Oh, no. Uh, Chandra says it's uh, plus three degrees in Canada. Oh, wow. That's really cold, guys. Hey, that's why I'm out here cooking. I'm out here cooking to send some sunshine to y'all. Um, we're actually feeling a little breeze and also a little rain. So the sun just actually peeked out. Cheryl Lee says she needs to come to South Florida, definitely. Yes, yes. I'm going to put one mariri pepper in there, just one. For a little bit of fla for flavor and a little bit of hotness. So I'm going to let this cook. I want this cook really well. And then I'll add my, my potatoes. Check it out. I have my potatoes here with some basil or marred manpo. And uh, like I said, I'm cooking it for the first time. For this first time, yellow squash. Yellow squash. Let me know if you've ever used this um, in this way. 
I've seen a lot of my Indian dishes that I had had the yellow squash in curry flavors. And I talked to my Indian friends and so they were giving me ideas on how to cook it with the yellow squash. Uh, Nimi says it's 37 degrees in New York. Wow, 37 degrees, Johnny. Hey, come over here. What are you eating? Um, this, is a, <clears throat> this is a rotten um, dragon fruit that I'm planting the seeds. I slice them in the slices so I can just put them into the soil and layer dirt on top. Oh, okay. They're like dark brown on the skin. So I hey, put them in air. Oh, um, one each in the pot then. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Mm. We want our dragon fruit to grow up here. So you see, I put a little bit more curry, curry in this, in this, and tomatoes in this, uh, in this dish. So I'm gonna take down the doll. Actually, I'm gonna swizzle it a little bit. How many remember doing this? Check it out, guys. Look, I'm gonna swizzle it. So the garlic, the roasted jeera, the curry leaves, all that get into every taste in this soup or dal. Okay, so I'm going to take this off so I can get going with the cabbage. Nori saying hi from South Africa. Pardon me? Nori saying hello from South Africa. Hi, Nori. Big up. love, big love going out to South Africa. Parbati's in the house. Kamani's in New York, uh, Fort Lauderdale. Hello, Fort Lauderdale. Hello, Fort Lauderdale. Tara is shouting out, have a blessed day. Thank you, thank you. Natasha says good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Is this from Trinidad, Natasha? Uh, I'm not sure. Marina saying hello from New Jersey. Hi, hi, Rina, Rina. Marina. Marina. So I'm putting my potatoes in here now. I'll let this cook up some. She loves, what is the name of the, 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 the Dalgutni? The, Dalgutni, yeah. Dalgutni, it's called the tool. She, wanted, she said she's never seen that in South Africa. Oh, <laughs> yay, yeah, I grew up with that too. Kogi wants to know when you're coming to visit South Africa. Oh man, I'd love to. I'm hoping in the new year. I'm hoping in the new year. <laughs> Doss says, hi from New York. Good. Oh, so let's turn this. I don't know why this is uh, Natasha okay. says yes from Guyana. Oh, Natasha from Guyana. Yeah, Motel. Oh, Natasha from Guyana. Sorry, sorry, Where? guys. We have Jean in the house. Hi, Jean. Hi, Sarah. Hi, uh, Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi, love the cooking. Thank you. Thank you. You have to try this recipe. Savitri is in the house. Hi, Savitri. Margo Singh. Hi, Margo Singh. Good morning from Toronto. Early lunch. Have a great weekend. You as well. I'm cooking early because I'm uh, I'm cooking some vegan meals for some vegan meals for uh, for my some friends around here, and um, and I want to have it take it for lunch time. So that's why. Um, I'm starting a little early. Don't put your hand in. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook here and then we'll put uh, the squash in. And you can put some coconut milk into this and make it total vegan as well. Okay. So this is cooking here nicely. 
So while that's cooking up, let's start our other dish over here. Getting a little breeze. All right, I put some onions in here to start to saute and also some tomatoes. And these are some roasted tomatoes. And this is some amazing green seasoning as well. I'll start this, let it start cooked up here. And let's put the garlic there as well. Karen, Sharon says she's on her way over for some. Yes, please, I'm <laughs> cooking enough because my other neighbors on this side, uh, Stacy, she's also a vegetarian. So I'm cooking enough meals for a few people. Pretty much every meal Sandy cooks is shared out somewhere. Yeah. I'm also going to put one marie in here. And what I like also in um, in this cabbage, I'm not making it a curry style. It's just more of a garden herb style. But I, I love curry leaves in it as well. And I also like jeera, if you have some jeera to put in there. So we have Jessica, she says she wishes she was your neighbor. <laughs> I, I like to, I just like to cook, and whenever I'm cooking, I'm always cooking enough for fish sharing as well. Ravi says yellow squash and pumpkin is good. I know, I never really had it this way, so I'm excited, I'm excited to try it like this. I always like have it grilled or... Um, Mostly grilled and uh, and uh, steamed, or whenever I go to a restaurant, but mostly grilled and steamed. So this is the first time I'm making it this way, never curry style, other than when I was in India. Put a little bit of salt in here to taste. So someone's asking, you're cooking it dry first? Yes, I'm cooking this like this, and uh, see like I cook the masala and all the ingredients first, and uh, then I'll put the potatoes, when this is like half cooked, it's cooking in its own juices and everything right now, then I will put, uh, I'll put the squash. Jones asking, when do you think you'll be back in Trinidad, Sam? Oh man, I know. I want to be everywhere, my friend. I want to be everywhere. It's, it's on the list. It's on the list. It's on the list. Well, um, for next year, we want to do a big trip. It's either South Africa or Thailand. And then we'll still do our normal trips like to Guyana, to Trinidad, and some closer trips to the Caribbean, New York, Canada. These are flights like under six hours. But for the long trips and the over... 24 hours or 17 hour trips and um, those we want to do once a year hey buddy what real are you quick doing? San Neri says we call yellow squash patty pans in South Africa what do you call it patty p-a-t-t-i pans patty pan pans. Oh, yellow squash nice, we, nice. I know pot, um, there's a type of squash um, that we used to pick at the farm called patty pan squash a little squash and they have that little rim around it, yeah, remember? Yes, oh, that's what they call that? That's what we call it, but maybe they call it differently. But that, that, that's how I remember them. Anyways, oh, what do you have there? Yesterday we found some uh, delicious wild edible mushrooms. I, I looked them up and I l asked some uh, experts on the matter. But here they are, these are called wood air mushrooms, like the air you have on your side of your head. And these are red chanterelles. And these are mushrooms that he just went around the garden here and found. I was he like, no way. Is that what I think it is? So I made a video and I sent it to some experts. They replied back to me and they're very kind and nice. And this one has no deadly lookalike, so it's easy to find these. You have to be beginning. careful when you pick mushrooms, you especially do. in the wild, because so many of them, that's not good for you, can give you belly ache and make you really sick. So John, I will say, is an expert 
in mushrooms and it's every gorgeous. day um, he's learning. He's learning every day about mushrooms. As soon as he see a mushroom, he go learn about it. And I'm Look so thankful for like, like place like Google and Facebook and the YouTube where you can actually find all these answers. I might make a delicious hot pot with this. Oh, nice, Raj. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Good job. So see how nice I'm frying up my tomato, my peppers, my curry leaves, the onions and the garlic. I want to caramelize it first before I put the, the cabbage because I want that cabbage to um to have that nice caramel taste, a nice sweet taste. Uh, so check this out. Now, all right, this is so nice here. The curry is well and cooked as well. Curry masala. Now what I'm gonna do is put put these guys in here. Hi, Allison. Good afternoon. Oh, Johnny, can you bring me something for this? I'm happy. Okay. Usha says when you go to South Africa, please visit them. Yes, definitely. Guys, for all my friends in South Africa and these places, please reach out with your personal information, like Messenger us, uh, or uh, send us a message on Messenger, or... Um, Tommy's what's up. Yes, please, because in that way, I'll have contacts when I'm there, and love to stop by. I show the world the way, the culture, the food. This is what Sandy's kitchen is about. She wants to go to your backyard. Yes. So here, this is some roasted garlic. So I'm gonna put some in here Onion. so Onion. our food. Onions. Onions, onions. So our food tastes nice and roasting. Like if I'm cooking it again on the fire side. Okay, let's turn this up. The flavors from the red onion are different than the white, someone's asking. Yes, yes, and I love them both. The, the um, purple onions has more antioxidant and more nutrition, nutritious values for you. And if you, you're sensitive to onions, I suggest you use the whiter onions or the yellow onions, which makes it a little sweeter. So you see now I mix this in. I wonder if I should put coconut milk. Guys, should I put coconut milk or water? Someone just shouted out coconut milk. Coconut milk? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I'll run, I got a, I have a jar inside the house of some. You yes, ma you yes. Made. Okay, let me, um, look how nice this is frying up, guys, chewing up here. I love it, I love it. Can you bring me one more tomato? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, no, no more tomato. You see, and you see how dark that color is? You see how darker the color is? That uh, look. That will give this cabbage a nice color as well. So you don't have to put like coloring for the cabbage, you know? Mm. And if you're fasting for some of my India my friends who will go through fasting and so on. This is perfect. Try this recipe. It's perfect for when you're fasting. And you just like slowly incorporate the, all the stuff from the bottom into together. Okay. And he really could cook. Uh, delicious, have all the energy to do all you do. Someone um, says, yes, coconut milk. Someone says, put coconut milk. Coconut milk, yes. Coconut milk, another coconut milk, another coconut milk. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Remember, this is the first time I'm making this curry combination over here. It's group effort. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, listen, I'm not an expert. I'm not, I'm here. Every day is a learning game for me. Every day I'm in school, okay? The world life is, is a is a, a permanent education. Yes, life is a lo is, is you're in school every day you live. You never know what will happen today. You never know. You never know what will happen five minutes from now. All right, so we put the rest. Because when this cook gong, it'll become like very small. I should leave some for Chowmin. 
Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, Kogi says he absolutely love your positive energy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kobe. Debbie says, "Yep, coconut milk." All right. So I'm gonna. Hi, Allison. She's loving your cooking. Um, the hot water on the. All right. So Tommy went inside to get some coke to get grab me some coconut milk. I wasn't planning to do it with coconut milk because um, since she's coming out, my friend Marsha, she's coming out from surgery. Uh, She's not cooking or anything, so that I'll be cooking a few meals here and there every day for her. Uh, so today I'm cooking these two meals and the dal, so that will go them for a couple meals. I'm, I cooked enough for, for share for a couple meals. And, um, and then tomorrow I'll cook some other vegetarian, like I have the dashing bush, and I also have some baji, and, um, some, and some, mala, some moringa leaves. I'll mix all that together, and I'll make that with something else too. I'm excited. I love cooking for others. And I also like when others are tasting my food. Oh, it's so good. I like that. I like to eat other people's food. And other people like to eat my food as well. So that's one of my favorite um, pastime things to do. Hi, Devika. How are you, Devika? Today is one of my friend birthday. My earliest friend growing up, going to school together, and so on. Her name is um, Devika, her, and it's her birthday today. So happy birthday to you. I love you, and I can't wait for us to hang out and be with each other again. And for all my school friends who may know her name by Sugar, it's like our little sweet name we'll call her Sugar. She's so beautiful and kind. Uh, very thankful, thankful uh, for all of you and for all of you for being here and shouting it where you're tuning in from. We have Anita from Canada. Hi, Anita. Big love, big love. Here you go, Tom. Hi, Sheree. She says that you're humble. You have a humble spirit. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sheree. Thank you. I, every day I try to be the best me. Believe me, we all go through suffering, pain, hurt in different time of the day, in different time of our lives. But I try to learn from it and move on from it and try to be my best self. So thank you, thank you. And that's what I want to share. That's who I am. And that's what I want to share and put out there. All right, so. Ravi says Trinidad in the house. Big love, big love going out to Trinidad. Ooh, I forgot to leave this in. Okay. So check this out. It's bungee nicely here. So I'm gonna add a coconut milk. Oh man, that's looking good. Yeah, coconut milk in there. Okay. How many people are going crazy on this right now? <laughs> Elizabeth saying good morning. Okay. So this will be good with roti. And um, we have basmati rice with it to go with it. All right, we'll let that come to a boil. Shanti says hi from Trinidad. Hi, Shanti. Uh, Drew says he loves your stove. Thank you, thank you. It's a little windy right now. But wow, look how nice this is breaking down, you see? And with this also, you can eat it with bread, you can eat it with roti, you can eat it by itself like a side dish, or you can eat it on top of rice. Matitka says it looks delicious. And I also have dal, guys. Check out the dal. For some of my friends who are getting on, check out the dal with nice baji. Roasted jeera, curry leaves, and garlic. She already has the basmati rice on the stove prepared. Yeah, yeah. And I cook my rice Indian style as well. I put some jeera in there. I put some curry leaves. I put some onions, some garlic, and um, some cardamom. I put some green cardamom in there and some clove. And it's nice, tasty rice. I'm trying to make it into a nice Indian dish. Uh, for our friends. 
I'm gonna bust open up that pepper there, you see it? So you can get in. Anita's. Just one, just one. She said she liked a little spicy, but not too spicy. Yes. Sunita so says, yes, so true. We all go through so much different pain every day. Every day, every minute, every hour, you know? I mean, that one makes us strong. It makes us grow. It, it's, and, it, and for me, it makes me want to be better. It makes me want to help others. Uh, because so many of us will get stuck in this pain and this suffering. That happens 10 years ago, that happened 5 years ago. I was in it for 10 years, so I'm a firm believer in it. And you don't have to wait that long, you know. Life so what are you saying? You're saying you let it go? Yeah. You have to. This. Yeah, you have to. You have to forgive. Forgive and um, learn from it and move on, you know. And sometimes we get hurt by the closest people to us, the closest people. And sometimes it's, it, it's, it's like the worst to get over because they're the closest to you and you you take it even more so personally because you know because of that but let me tell you the universe is there and you're there to help each other you have your family and things like that so my whole point about this show it's about love it's about bringing people together culture together families together this is what Sandy's backyard is about okay so on another topic, though, Ravi's going nuts over here. So, Sandy, you have to make some fried baked floats to eat the cabbage and put some hot sauce. What? Fried baked what? Fried, fried baked floats. Oh, yes. <laughs> in Guyana and Trinidad, it's a fried baked, but in, Trin in, in India, it's the floats, in the baked okay. float. It okay. puff oh, up. Puffs up. Oh, yes, oh. that sounds good. It, that would be so good with this cabbage. Yes, yes. Mm, maybe we'll do that for dinner, Tommy. That sounds delicious. Mm hmm. Baby girl uh, Fiznia says, I enjoy watching you live. Great positive vibes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for sharing. Let's share the vibe to the world, you know. We can help so many people. We don't know. Not everything you see on TV, on the YouTube, on Facebook, uh, picture. It's not all true. Believe me, okay? It's not all true. People go through different things, you know, in their lives and so on. And you don't know. And some, some of us will, as soon as we see something, we go and we put it down or we think of the negative. But don't, because you don't know what that person is going through, right? I, I've, I've get to know my page and so many people from my page personally, on a personal level. And I am want to tell you that we all go through different things in our lives, that we need a smile. We need, we need a, a, a say, I love you. And things like that on a daily basis you know so let's be the light out there let's be kind let's show people the kindness let's be the best self to someone else because you can change that person I have to comment on this because in the Sandy you know we in social media you get people that just have these crazy comments and are so hurtful and it's crazy especially because Sandy's just being so genuine and her true self and so she would actually a lot of these at the beginning she would reach out to them and say what what was happening in your day that when you commented and she the people actually started talking to her and say well this happened to my sister and i have a problem and i was just i was just voicing my anger out and you were you got caught in the crosshairs and it's like why would someone want to hurt someone as said yeah says. why would a human being want to hurt somebody else is that person is going through some hurt subconsciously or consciously and um and it makes them maybe feel good in this way so don't buy into it don't go into it now i'll close my eyes when somebody says something and i will go to this person i don't know their faces i don't know what they look like or anything but i'll just go into their heart and give a hug and i say you know what you need this hug you need this hug because i've been there i've been there you know and i am there in many ways <laughs> every day we, every we all day, go through things day. it's how we start the next day the next two seconds yes and as sandy says breathe tommy because <laughs> I take my deep breaths before I speak sometimes because I do speak out of tongue. Guys, so you need to let me know if you'll try this recipe. And these are some vegan vegan dishes uh, or vegetarian. My friends that, that I'm making this for are vegans. And this is so good. And like I said, you can eat it um, in so many different ways. So you see cabbage is cooking down. You could add anything to that, huh? 
fish. Yes, you can shrimp. add shrimp to this. You can uh, have some fried fish on the side. You can have some shrimp. You can add some chicken and just whatever meats that you like. You can put it right mm. here on this dish and it will also be delicious. Hey, Sandy, Aruna is asking you uh, when you're in Mumbai. She's from Mumbai. She wants to know, did you enjoy the chai? Oh, my gosh. It was the be best chai tea. It's on the street of Mumbai where we were staying at the hotel. I will be the first one to get up and go walk around. And I will go out there and the first thing that, the first set of stands that will be there are people who are providing breakfast for people to go to work and also chai tea. And you'll see all the boys are out there and I'm out there too. And I'll have this chai tea because, you know, we try not to eat very much food from the street because, you know, our body is different coming, especially from the States and things like that. So. It was so much fun trying the chai tea and it was so good, like I couldn't get enough. That's one thing I wish I have right now is the chai tea. And I also had an opportunity to try some of the food that they were cooking right there in front of me. Oh, it was so good and so good. And all of it pretty much was vegetarian meals, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, chai means tea, but over there they actually do say chai tea. Yes, yes, because it's much stronger and there is where they grow the leaves of the teas and so on, so it's much stronger and more potent and so good, so good. Sandy, Yana, uh, Yana Dree, she's asking, is it summer here? Yes, it's, no, actually, <laughs> it's I, got, not I caught her off guard of purpose. <laughs> it's, um, it's actually winter here, but we are in South Florida, so we are right below the equator, so we have warm weather, tropical weather here. The coldest we will get sometimes maybe in winter is like 30 degrees, maybe 50 some degrees. Uh, but for most part, it's very tropical and um, warm here. What's it about 78 today? It's about right now, it's about 78. Feels really good. All right, so the guys, thanks again. I know you, you're at work, you have your family. Uh, let me know what's cooking this weekend. I'll be cooking some Thai roasted duck later, and I'm making some vegetarian vegan meals right now. I like to have vegetables around the house as well, so at night time or when we do have some sort of meat or fish, we have our vegetable all ready to go with. So this guy is coming to a boil. So as soon as these potatoes are finished, it's finished because the squash, you can actually eat it raw or cooked like this. So as soon as my potatoes, which is this here, are finished, um, the meal is finished. And I like the idea that you guys just to put coconut milk in it. Uh, it's going to make it a little sweeter and tastier as well. Roseanne says... Oh, um, Roseanne says uh, she loves you cooking, Sandy. And then Ravi says we're missing our soy chunks. I know. I need to buy some. We're out. I need. I. I actually am out of soy chunks. I need some. I'll put a little salt here for taste as well. Cabbage. I don't want to put the stove on high heat. Oh, that's right. My bad. It's actually still autumn. Winter starts on the 22nd of December. Okay, it's still autumn. Or fall. <laughs> or fall, yes. Uh, I, oh my, I was in New York pretty much for one night. And in the morning, I was leaving for the airport. And I get a chance to see some of the fall colors there in New York. Oh my gosh. The tree was so yellow. And the other tree was so purple and red. I was so happy to see some fall colors. Every year we try to run away from here and go to Georgia, North Georgia or Tennessee or somewhere there to see the fall colors. But this year I was in Guyana visiting my sister there and then I, we went to India, Dubai. So we didn't have a chance to go up north. So I was so pleased and so happy when I saw that in New York. Thank you Rihanna from Rihanna Exclusive Design as well for taking me around and stopping. Um, her friend Molly, I think, uh, was stopping like me crazy, me running out, playing with the, 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 the leaves on the road <laughs> and um, trying to get pictures of all the trees that I see. So thank you for having the patience. 
<laughs> it's uh, 27 degrees in uh, Pittsburgh, I believe. Wow. Check this out, guys. So this is coming from boil, a couple more boils, and it will be finished. Um, Mari is watching from Claremont, Florida. Hi, hello, Mari. Big love going out to Claremont. Uh, I think our friend Naz and um, Naz is there right now. Naz Baker. Naz, Tommy. Yes. I oh, think, that's where she is. Yeah, I think she's there by her family. Um, I'm trying to read. Jeff and Naz. Oh, wonderful. Arun is saying we are celebrating the. Tulasi wedding, a basil plant moved by in most of the homes this week. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, we'll have to look that up. That's awesome. Take a little video and send it to me. I'd love to put it up. Please, take a little video. I love it. We had such a great time there uh, for Diwali in the time when it was Diwali. Oh, my gosh. Everybody go all out. It's like Christmas. It's Diwali there is like Christmas here in the United States with all the lights, all the fairy lights and all the lights I have everywhere. They go all out. The big, big buildings, stories and stories of buildings, they'll have lights. The whole building. It's crazy. Wow. It's so beautiful, yes. Oh, that's the pictures we saw. They just draped off the balcony to the yes. rooftop, probably to the, yes, to, the, yes. to the bottom of the ground. All right, all right, guys, I know you're all how you're busy. I just want to come on here for a quick live. Thank you all for being part of us. So I'll just let this finish cooking. and. <laughs> Tommy ran over to turn it over. Um, on, so thank you again. Hey, Tommy, thank you. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, thank you for being part of us. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for all the prayers and the gifts you're sending for my sisters. Thank you. Uh, like I said, we almost, re the, we almost reached a goal that they put up. And I know many people on this page help in a monetary way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll continue cooking this and I'll take a little video and share it with you, the final product. Uh, stay amazing everyone and thank you and let me know if you will try this recipe and how it turned out. And if you made the yellow squash this way, um, share some of your recipe with me as well. Love you, stay amazing.